this is certainly the house with the best view that we've done in this area, which is one of the reasons people live here. It's just it's so private, it's tucked away, and obviously having the ravine back it, is amazing. This was an addition to the original structure. They had a flood that affected the kitchen. So they had already were partway into the process with the insurance company. And um, we came in and I sort of had a look at the kitchen, talked to them about their needs. And what we really decided is that the old kitchen, it just wasn't functional. It wasn't laid out well. And so we took the opportunity to sort of re-envision it. The living room space was oriented away from the windows which to me didn't make any sense because you've got this amazing view, so wouldn't you want to be able to sit and sort of take it all in? So we reworked this whole layout in here as well. We wanted to keep it light and bright. The wow over here is the Martha Sturdy coffee table. It is such a beautiful piece, and I love the fact that it has this landscape sensibility to the way that the resin flows in the piece, and it's just this monolithic piece, but it doesn't feel heavy. Our client was so open to color, and it's really exciting when somebody says, bring it on. She had a fabric that she already had selected for a bench that they already owned that we recovered, and it's a bright stripe from Pierre Frey. And so we took that as our jumping off point for the color palette. In terms of doing the blue sofas, how bold do we want to go and how bold is she willing to go? You know, I just put it on the table as an option and she was totally game for it. And they're fabulous. The graphic zigzag on the, the cravat chairs is great. It's fun, but it's still sophisticated. And then bringing in some florals. We've even got a you know hot pink going on in there, but just little hits. So it's playful, but it's not something you're gonna get sick of or tire of quickly. One of the challenges in this house is that there's a lot of paneling elsewhere in the house. And so we opted to be consistent with the rest of the house architecturally. But yeah, it was a real struggle to figure out the whites and what was the cabinet white gonna be versus the trim white. Bringing in texture was really important. And so the backsplash is an example of it's very subtle, but just that imperfect edge on the glass tiles, it's just a little bit rustic. It's not totally modern. It has a nice patina to it that it brings to the space. I don't like it when tile just sort of ends on a wall. I feel like tile needs to have something to what's called die into. So we decided to wrap the tile right around the window. Part of the danger of a white kitchen is that things can start to be lost. And so we had this island in the middle. We decided to make it blue and we wanted to have a feature countertop. That was very important to our client. We decided to go with a marble look, but it's actually a quartzite. So it's a more durable stone than marble, but it has that sort of marble landscape. Back in the 90s and the early 2000s, and in the 80s as well, everybody put like an office into their kitchen and no one's doing any bills or homework. They just end up being a sort of catch-all. So we said, let's get rid of it and do double duty. And we'll have a little bit of an operations center. So there's a tack board where they can put up, you know, important notices, kids' schools, calendar, that sort of thing. But it's also a bar so that when they are entertaining, there's a place where all their barware is. And it's a nice way of transitioning from kitchen into living room. The dining area is in the transition space as well. They already had a table, so we just had some chairs made to bring that blue in in a more toned down fashion and a new light to frame it all. It's got beautiful windows around it, so it's really functional. They can entertain easily. This was a really fun project to work on. The color was inspiring to be able to play around with that. The other thing that was amazing was the client was so open to listening to our advice in terms of materiality, and she was really open to kind of being a bit playful, and there's a nice patina and feel to every piece that's in the space.